What's up y'all, today's video, we've got the Hoyt RX-7 Ultra. This is my personal bow. Uh, Hoyt is bringing this back for 2023 for good reason. Today's video, we're gonna go over the accessories I put on it and uh, show you guys what I absolutely love about this thing. All right, so starting with the sight, I went with the Option 6 from Option Archery. I absolutely love the versatility of this sight. It's extremely unique, nothing like it on the market. It is a dovetail setup. It's got first, second, third axis. What makes this sight different than anything else is that you've got one single pin setup that is a slider that you can dial into exact yardage. You also have another face that's gonna have multiple fixed pins. On this site in particular, you have five fixed pins and then that one slider. So if you're in a setup where you know, elk hunting, anything's gonna change, you're not gonna have the chance to dial in very quickly. You've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever you're gonna set them at. Uh, however, if you're someone that's up in a tree stand, whitetail hunting, and you do have the option to dial in exact, you can move this out of the way, clearer sight picture, and you're gonna have that single pin to be able to shoot off of. For the rest, I went with the Hamski Trinity. I've ran this on previous bows. I'm personally a fan of limb-driven rests. There's countless options on the market. You know, pick the one that's right for you. This setup just works great with this bow. Balance setup. Went with a six inch back bar. Hoyt makes it super easy. They've got this SL sidebar mount, goes right into the carbon riser, gives you full range of motion to be able to adjust it, play with the weight, uh, and then find what's gonna help you balance and hold exactly where you need it based off your bow setup. For the front bar slash quiver, I ended up going with the option archery equivalizer. I've seen plenty of people run this online. Uh, the Green Trees down in Australia, they run this, they love it. They do a lot of spot and stock hunting. My wife ended up getting one for hers. She's got a Hoyt Venom Pro 33 raved about it. She absolutely loved it, said how great the balance was. So I ended up giving it a shot. And up until then, I had run longer front bars off the lower setup. I've run them off the traditional side. Uh, wasn't ever finding anything that was holding how I wanted to, to give me the consistency I was looking for. I put the Quivalizer on here and immediately putting all of this weight, lower center of gravity on a bow that as it sits, comes out of the box at like 4.3 pounds. So that gave me the ability to add weight to it, but where I wanted it and in a setup that was gonna help me, you know, overall with my shooting. That's exactly what this did. Specs on this bow, 31 inch draw length, 83 pounds draw weight. The arrows have got the Easton Axis long range four millimeters. They're 510 grains, and this bow's shooting those at 299 feet per second. All right, so one of the Biggest things that I love about this bow, it's gonna be draw cycle. These cams are so smooth, even at 83 pounds. Overall, I absolutely love this bow. The way I set it up works perfectly for me. Uh, the bow itself checks off so many of the boxes that I was looking for going into this season. And it seems like it did that for quite a few other people with Hoyt bringing this bow back for 2023. Uh, I'd love to hear your input on it. If you're shooting this bow or if you're considering a new bow going into this year, uh, give the RX-7 and the RX-7 Ultra a look. I really think you'll be pleased. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think.